Hey guys, Fox of Foxy Games, welcome back to Ultima 7 The Black Cape Part 3. I actually completed the entire Isle of Fire only to realize that my recorder completely failed. So, yeah, that was frustrating. Okay, there are a couple different ways to handle this stuff. Basically, the easiest way to get around in here is by simply leaving your comrades here. So, what I usually do is tell them to wait here. And that way I can go do what I need to do. Shamino is the only one that doesn't ask you twice whether you really want him to leave or not. Thank you, Shamino. Okay. Now, the Isle, the Isle of Fire is basically three trial tests that will boost your stats when you're done with them. The easiest one is this, the one of truth and wisdom, so just go up to the statue, talk to it, and boom, you're in this room. Okay. This one can actually seem really, really difficult. By the way, when you're by yourself, you talk to yourself. Don't go in the center right there. You get zapped. Trust me. Okay. So, as you move forward, you can go through this door right here, and you will spend all day long trying to figure it out. And never figure it out. Basically, all you do is go through this invisible wall. Or it, this invisible opening in the wall. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not kidding. You go right through this, and that's it. Boom, you're done. I spent hours in that stupid maze before I figured that out. So there, guys, I just saved you hours and hours of work. Booyah. Alright, he tells you, yeah, there's some difficult stuff going on. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Okay. So basically, check your stats, and look at that. Intelligence is up to 30, okay? So basically, they max out each of your three stats. Alright, to get to the one of compassion, which is the second easiest, the hardest being the... Uh, trial of courage, test of courage, whatever they want to call it, you just come around this way. Let's see if I need anything to eat. The nice thing is when you don't have uh, your companions with you, you can take stuff and nobody gets mad at you. Alright, we're going to need that for later. Trust me. And we're actually not going to need this for the moment. Oh, I can't fit it anywhere, can I? Well, let's... Oh, I can't. Good, good, good. Okay. Basically, come down here, talk to this golem, and he'll tell you he's trying to bring his friend back to life. He'll give you a book. And, you know, there's a backstory to it. The master made these guys, yada, yada, yada. I just want the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. Give me the book. Okay. I thought he gave me the book. Did he give it to me? Yeah, he already did. Okay. Put it in there for now. Well, when you read it, a uh, page will fall out, and that's the page you need to use to read an incantation. All right, head this way. <coughs> Come in here, and we're also going to hit up a secret area. All right, we're going to need this in our hands. This uh, pickaxe. Remember, guys, this is being played with the Exalt Engine, and if you'd like. You can buy the game for yourself. It's available on GOG, goodoldgames.com, GOG.com. Okay. First the first thing first is uh, we're going to get the secret area. Check this out, guys. You probably never noticed it. See that little tiny pixel right there? That's a lever. If it'll get out of my way, I'll flip the switch. Okay. Now it, the uh, secret area is available. Next up, we'll hit the tree. Oh, shoot. That's going to be useless unless I have this uh, pail down next to it. Ah, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Pail fills with blood, which we need for the ritual to bring the golem back alive. And I wonder if I can get the heart yet, or if I need to be told I can get it. Yeah, I need to be told about it first. Okay, you'll see what I mean in just a moment, and check it out, guys. Another uh, invisible opening. Or illusory wall, I should say. Get around the horse here. And there's some bats you gotta take care of. I think there's two in here, but I only saw one this time. And you can get the Death Scythe, one of the best weapons in the game. But 
don't worry about it because uh, you'll give that to someone else very quickly because um, you're going to get the best weapon in the game for the avatar. Too heavy, darn it. So I'll have to come back here later, I guess. I don't really even need those glass swords, to be honest with you. Now the Fire Doom Staff is cool. Don't use it. Oh my goodness, do not use it. Uh, every time you use it, it sends an explosion out. And if your players are in the way, your characters actually get hurt by it. So you'll end up killing your party every time you engage in combat. Which is a big bummer, because other than that, it's a really cool weapon. You shoot fireballs out of it. But like I said, it explodes and ends up killing everybody. So it's virtually impossible to use. I don't know how they didn't make it past uh, playtesting. Alright, my golem friend. Let's get this done. Hopefully my recorder doesn't crap out this time on me. I think it's because I had tried to downgrade the software to fix the problem that I was having with the audio commentary being degraded. But then the firmware was the newer firmware, so I was using the old uh, drivers with the new firmware, and I think that was causing some conflict. Okay, so let's do it. Read the incantation. Oh, so he just sacrifices his own heart for the golem. Okay, pop it in there. And once again, let's read it. Oops, no way to speed this up. In Yelm. In grave, in money, Kalpor, Vasflamus, fireworks, and lightning. Oh, guys, be careful. If you stand in that fire, or if your party member stands in that fire, it will hurt you. That's why I get rid of my party members. They tend to die a lot, especially in the test of courage. All right, this guy will uh, tell you that it actually wasn't necessary for him to sacrifice himself. If you let him read the book, you just say yes. Basically, he tells you that you just get the. I suppose Bullocks was more fortunate. Was it he who carried me here? Yes. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna talk to him until I think he'll say something. Uh, about the... Well, I'll talk to him later and get it. The talisman of wisdom, or compassion rather, or love, or something. Alright, now we need to go back and do exactly what we did before, except do it twice and we'll get a heart. Not sure why they needed a teleporter here, but if, if you look at the game world, there's ways to use cheats to look at the game world. Uh, it all starts to make sense. Okay, first off, we put the pail down there, then we hit the tree, it'll fill up the pail, or just give us the heart first. Too heavy? Are you kidding me? Okay. Wait a minute, the heart is too heavy? How? Alright, alright guys. We're gonna have to find a way to to get that heart. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Why? Nothing wants to sit there. Okay. Well, yeah, we're at 36 out of 36. We no longer need that. Let's get rid of that. And now we should be able to grab the heart. No. No, we can't. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Uh, hello? What'd I do with those gloves? Oh, there they are. Actually, we're gonna get another set of plates. I guess we could just drop it. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let's... Oh, you know what? We don't need the book anymore. So, that should be good. There we go. Okay. There's no penalty to being at full weight. You don't move any slower or anything. You just can't carry anything after that. That includes gold, guys. Gold has weight in this game. Gold, uh, ammunition, 
All of it has weight. Alright, let's get this thing done. Alright, easiest way to do this is to put it in your hands. That way you only have to open the paper doll. Whoops. Not much blood on that one uh, stone there, is there? Okay, make sure not to be standing on the stones, otherwise uh, the lightning will strike you and the fire will burn you and you can actually die while talking to these guys. Get rid of that, we don't need it. And let's read the incantation. This will boost our uh, other stat. I believe it's uh, Dexterity. And then the last stat after that is Strength, which will come from the Test of Courage, which is the hardest test in the game, because you have to do quite a lot of fighting. And the reason I tend not to break my companions is because they just end up dying a lot. And because of how tough it is, you'll want to just run through some areas instead of fighting everything. Ask him about the talisman, and you get it. Boom. Thank you. Take a look at that. Dexterity's 30. Okay. Take that talisman, put it in there. Alright. And the death slice. Doesn't that look awesome, guys? It doesn't look so cool on your character, but in the paper doll it looks awesome. Of course, it, the blue looks kind of silly. I guess it probably looked better as red or something. I'm trying to think if they have anything on them I need. Yes, actually they do. Let's uh, get Yellow to join us so we can access his backpack. And what we're going to do is take all of his healing potions. I think these are all healing potions if I remember correctly. I don't know what that one does, but I'll take it. Also, we'll set these here for now. Blocked. How so? Uh, we'll need these in a moment, but not quite yet. He doesn't need that. It's a waste. There we go. Okay. Hopefully I can hold all this stuff. If not, we can get rid of that, and uh, the talismans will be able to set down too. Be careful guys, if you set stuff down and forget where it is, you're screwed if it's a plot critical item. You might as well just restart the game at that point, which has happened to a lot of people. That's one of the flaws in older games. I guess it's not so much a flaw as it is just a, a reality, because it's something that could happen in real life. Not that in real life, you know, you're going on quests to kill dragons or anything. You'll see what these do in a little bit, guys. Trust me. Whoops. Oh, come on. Ah, come on. Pixel perfect placement here, guys. There we go. Okay. Alright. And you also need to talk to this demon before you uh, can complete the Isle of Fire. His name is Arcadian. He basically asks you to help him escape from being stuck in the mirror. You want to agree, and this is one of the first times in the series where you're kind of forced to do something that's not very Avatar-like. Alright, so he says he needs a gem. Let's go get him a gem. Alright, make sure you have some lockpicks for this part. And this is where you want to save. A lot. Because uh, it's very easy to die here. And also, this is one of the most messed up scenes in any video game in history. Take a look, guys. Look at that. What are you seeing right there? Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's crazy. That is pretty messed up. Take that ESRB ratings. Okay, get the mage first because he shoots exploding fireballs and that has the most potential to cause harm. These other guys here don't do too much damage overall. 
There's a lot of gold nuggets in here, but don't worry, you can come back anytime you want and uh, these enemies respawn and collect as much as stuff as you need, so don't worry about it for now, it'll just weigh you down. By the way, these magic pieces of plate armor ha are very, very low on weight, much lower than the normal, so you want those. Yeah, I've already got that. Um, let's actually, do I already have? No! Magic boots, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to carry all this stuff for my uh, companions. I'm not too worried about it. If you leave these little things open and just move them off to the side, you can tell what you've already opened in terms of all the bones down here. Oops. Okay. I'm having trouble remembering what I have and haven't opened. That one I haven't. Nothing on it in that one. And that's it. Get this headless guy. Headless are much easier in this game than they were in Ultima Underworld. Get a skeleton. Or not. Another key. And there we go guys. The most important piece of all. Look at that. With the regular plate mail it's 30. With this it's 22. Big difference, huh? Big difference. Okay. I think I've opened up everything around here. Combat can be a little wonky. That's always been true in this game. Because, you know, sometimes they just kind of seem to stand there doing nothing. And these golems, I'm going to see if I can run past them and then quickly shut that door and lock it behind me. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom, okay. This is a little trick I learned. And use the K command for key and boom, look at that, they can't follow you. Alright. This is where I start running past some stuff. Be careful, these things can poison you. And uh, poison is tricky in this game. When in combat, even if you're not in combat mode, if enemies are nearby, you'll move very slowly. Alright, there's one more switch on the other side. Again guys, this is going to be the toughest part of this game because there's potential for so many enemy corpses to stack up that you actually can't get around them unless you start moving them around, which can be tricky. You'll see what I mean up here. Uh, I usually get stuck at least once. There'll also be a segment of slimes. Just ignore them guys, trust me. They just keep respawning endlessly. Shoot, let's get this dragon before it gets us. Get, get the dragon, get the dragon! Okay. Alright, if you look at this, okay, you see you see what's telling you to do? There's a glass sword over to the uh, right, but we've already got one. Just put that there, and boom, take the key. That's not the first time we'll put something on a pedestal in this area. How do you like that? Let's take that, just because we can. And there's the glass sword you would have used. The glass sword is basically an instant kill on anything that's not basically like a plot critical um, character. Okay, we need to go through here. In order to get past the uh, automated doors up ahead, we need to swap this helmet for another helmet. So don't get too attached to that magic helmet, guys. You can't keep it. Alright, come on, Gollum. You're no match for the death scythe. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, you too, buddy. You're going down. Oh, no, no, it's the slimes. No, 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 don't hit the slimes. Just kill the golem, kill the golem, kill the golem, and let's get around these stupid slimes. Ah, oh, see you guys? I'm getting caught. Oh, there's so many slimes here, it's hard to get... Oh, look at that damage they're doing to me. Dang. 
Chill out, guys. You're just little slimes. Jeez. Uh, I don't think... Oh, shoot. I don't have my reagents, do I? Yeah, I don't think I have my reagents. These spells, I believe, are free. I think you can use these spells without needing any reagents. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't have my reagents. I left them on Spark. Well, that's okay. Alright, I'm just gonna run from these slimes because like I said, they just constantly respawn and, and split and it's just annoying. The only other problem up here is that we have gazers who can hitch really hard with some magic spells. Shoot, shoot, shoot. get him, get him, get him, get him, quick. Quick, get him. Okay. Get him. Okay, there we go. Got some little gremlins behind us. Okay. Again, we're gonna swap the two helmets. And just to be safe, we'll take another health potion. Whoops. Now we gotta get back through all this crap. No, we're stuck. Let's see if we can get rid of that rat and get through. Okay, uh, nope, not yet. Okay, I'm actually just stuck where I'm at. I can't even move. There we go, okay. I would stop to kill these rats, but again, uh, I'll get stuck fighting all the slimes that just endlessly split apart and form new slimes. And you guys can see how your companions would actually cause you more problems than they would solve because you would be losing them left and right. They'd be dying. Come on, open up. They die left and right, and you gotta heal them as well as yourself. And when you're running, they can get stuck somewhere and. Yeah, it's just easier to do it solo. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. No problem, I got it. Oh shoot, did you see how hard I just got hit? Dang, that hit hard. Okay. The other annoying thing too is these everything respawns here. Everything just keeps respawning. Okay. Let's see if the red will help us. No. Orange? No. So we got one more health potion left. That's cool because we're coming very close to the end. Let's save it. Almost done. Okay, here we go. Oh, we can move at a good speed now, finally. Okay, you can get this guy, but for some reason you always end up waking up these guys as you come around here. I'm gonna see if I can just avoid them entirely. Yeah, I think I got away. I don't think the Cyclops is gonna come after me. Oh, uh, yes they are. By the way, make sure to uh, pick up this throwing axe if you want a cool weapon for one of your other characters. Come up here, and before you initiate combat with the dragon, make sure to pick up any and all goodies around here, which there appear to be almost none. But pick up this. This is what you'll need. Put the scythe away, and equip the glass sword, and only hit the dragon with it. Okay, because the dragon is Im uh, immortal, so the only thing that can take him down is the glass sword. Boom. He tells you you have bested him, and there's a gem inside his mouth. Do you reach in and take it? Oh yeah, you bet I do. Okay, now here's the other tricky part, guys. Now we gotta get all the way back. This is where a spell of recall would come in handy. <coughs> yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay. Alright, let's try to get all the way back.
This time I'll pick up the reagent so I can use the heal spell. Okay. Just get back as quickly as possible. I mean, if you can avoid fighting, do it, but it's tough sometimes. Oh my goodness. Do you see how hard I got hit? That's gonna be it, guys. Oh shoot, that didn't do much, did it? Oh shoot. I'm not in a good position right now, let me trust me, because I gotta get through a dragon and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so now it's gonna be a game of luck. Out of the fire, game of luck. Okay, let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep rolling. I don't know if I can get past this. Oh, I can't. Good. Dragon could shoot me with fire. Don't, don't, please don't. Okay. Whew. Okay. I might be good to go, guys. I might be good to go. Please let me get past these golems. Oh, and that dragon is catching up to me fast. If, oh, that was close one. If these golems hit me with a critical, I'm dead instantly. Look at all this crap. Look at all this crap. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, what, six, seven skeletons. One, two, three, head, four headless. Two golems. I told you this is the toughest one, guys. Go, 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 go. Almost made it. Almost made it. Safe. <laughs> Safe. All of fire, courage, safe. Okay. Now. Orb of the Moons, that's not it. This gem, put it in our hand. And, let's see. How do we use it? We have to use the, uh, the gem to shatter the mirror. And that will free Arcadian from the mirror. Okay. Oops. 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 Okay, here we go. Put it in the weapon hand. I believe that's his right hand. And... Boom! Now all Britannia shall feel my wrath. <laughs> Not quite, Arcadian. Now you're stuck in the gym. Later. Okay. Alright, at this point, let's uh let's get our reagents before I forget. Yes, there we go. Okay, and now we'll tell him to wait. Alright. They actually might be in the way now, what we're gonna do after we sleep and, and recover. You can usually annoy these people so that they wake up, and then I'll use his bed. Come on, buddy, wake up. Wake up. Sometimes you move stuff around that'll wake them up. There we go. Almost done, guys. Almost done. We're in the final stretch here. The Isle of Fire. Alright, we're fully healed. Now you need to talk to Arethian. Uh, the Psyche Returns. Basically, that's the artifact. That is the core of Exodus. That that big uh, black looking uh, structure over there that we were putting the talismans on. Hello? Hello? Is it a freeze or something? We're supposed to be teleporting right now. Okay, we're gonna load. Yeah, save often because the game can occasionally crap out. You know, I bet you it's because those characters are standing there, it, it freaked the system out. 
Alright, let's repeat this process. By the way, before you can shatter the mirror, you have to talk to Arcadian. Otherwise, the gem is not usable. You can't double-click it and use it. Alright, now we can. <coughs> Excuse me, I've had a cough lately. Uh, hello? There we go. And booyah. Okay, let's get through all that stuff. And bye. Or bye. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's get these guys to join again. And this time uh we'll leave them somewhere else where they're not in the way. Okay. Like right up here. This'll be good. And no, that's not how to talk to him. There we go. Okay. Now let's save it here before it craps out again. Isle of Fire, four sword. You'll see what I mean by that. We're about to craft the most powerful weapon in the game. Without question the most powerful weapon in the game. Ridiculously powerful. It has an insta-kill option. No joke. Alright, Arethia. Let's talk about Exodus and the Great Evil and the Psyche. And let's do it. Yeah, that was the problem. We had the characters blocking us there. <clears throat> okay. Basically, he's old, so he's senile. He starts, he messes it up a few times, but he's creating for us a little smith area where we can forge this new uh, powerful weapon. Yeah, he messes up there. We don't need a mirror and a bouquet. We need a hammer and a bucket. Alright, so here's our sword. Set it down right there. Jim, we don't need for now. Take the hammer, use the bucket on the well, and I think we'll have to do it two or three times. And then we're going to fill up this little trough here where we can cool off the weapon. One more time. <laughs> Arethian's up there like blowing stuff off. I hope he doesn't kill one of my companions. Okay, we'll only need that uh, filled up once. You, do, you don't need to cool the sword off every single time. Don't worry about that. Alright, hit this thing. Wait a second. Trust me, it doesn't matter how fast you hit it. You don't, I mean, if you speedily hit it really quickly, it'll actually slow down how fast the sword heats up. Okay. Now the sword will slowly cool off unless you have one of these gumps open. This smells a gump or your paper doll. So every time you can open the gump up that way it slows down how uh, quickly it slows down, it uh, cools off the sword. And it's somewhat randomized how long it takes to uh, perfect the sword. It can take a long time or it can take a short amount of time. You may have to do this anywhere between one to three times. I've never had to do it more than three times. Oh, shoot, I don't, I don't know what I just said. <laughs> the blade has been worked as well as it can be. It'll take some form of magic. Okay, now we're done. Cool it off. And... We're going to be prepared to do what we need to do to make this weapon good enough to wield. The Black Sword. Basically he's saying it's too cumbersome to wield and the demon tells you that if you fused him into the hilt that would solve the problem. Yeah. So basically we're finding out here that Erethian is trying to somewhat resurrect Exodus from Ultima 3, which is the great evil that you destroyed. Hold one of these in each hand and tell him to bond, and it is done. There you go guys, the most powerful weapon in the game. Check out these powers. You can restore your magic, cast fire, cause instant death to almost anything, or instantly return to the Isle of Fire. Cool stuff, huh? 
Alright. It's also the most powerful weapon straight up. It's a regular weapon. It's a great sword, so we can't use the shield, but that's cool. Alright. Now we have the ability to heal ourselves. Or do we? Or do we? Oh, you know what? I forgot. Um, I have not actually uh, gotten the reagents yet. I did that before I had to reset my game. Or uh, reload. Okay. Alright, Spark. I need some stuff from you. Don't get too excited. You're not joining me permanently yet. Give me the reagents. Thank you. But don't worry, Spark. You can have that. Okay. Alright, buddy. You're going to have to wait here because you tend to die too often. There we go. Alright. Now. This is still a difficult trek back, but I have an idea for it. I wonder if we have the spell invisible. No, we pretty much have nothing past that. You have to buy the spells and, yeah, I should have bought, do I have protect? No. Huh. Please help. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I didn't know it did that, but luckily, we can instantly return. Oh my goodness, that spell can really screw you over. Be careful with that. Okay. Now I know what that does. All these years of ex of, uh, exes, of Ultima, and I never knew what that did. Alright, let's save here. Isle of Fire, Final Courage Test. Okay. Save often, guys. This is an old school RPG. Once again, we're going to skip as much as possible. Even though we have the most powerful weapon in the game. Well, shoot. Let's just do some combat. Look at that. Just about everything gets one shot. And this is before our strength is maxed out. We're going to get max strength in a moment here. Bam. Oh, he didn't get one shot. It took two? Three? Three shots. There we go. Okay. I'll wait to use heal just in case uh, I can heal a little more damage that gets done to me. Go, 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 go. Let's hit that spider real quick. And then we gotta hit the scorpion. See, you get. Gosh, screw it. I don't wanna get caught fighting everything. We will, of course, want to fight the dragon up here, but get real close to the dragon and watch this, guys. Boom, okay. Talk to your sword, powers, death, put the dragon in instant death. Cool, huh? Pick up some gems, which we can sell in Britannia, or Britain, actually, to the uh, gem dealer. I think he gives us, what, 50 gold each or something? I forget. There's always going to be a troll up here. Figures on my videos, there's always a troll. Ha ha ha, get a guy's pun. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys while they're still asleep, since they always seem to wake up. Oh cool, there was only two trolls this time, there's usually three up here. Do, 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 do. Oh, that music's so cool. Wow, that was the easiest trek back I've ever had. That's it. That's pathetic. Of course, there's a great heal spell later, I believe, and a, and a heal all spell. Okay, walk up to this dragon. Get, what the heck? What just happened? What the heck? That, I've, uh, I've never seen that, guys. I've never seen him disappear like that. Wow, he just turned invisible. Okay. Whatever. Boom. Problem solved. Oh, let's heal up. Man. Man, my health is low. There we go. Beware that fire that can hurt you. All right. That's this is one of the more useful uh, boosts because take a look. Strength thirty. 
Yeah, that increases hit points and everything, so awesomeness. And that's not all, guys. Watch. Uh, you'll see before long, even more shall happen in good favor. Okay. Well, we're going to complete the process of getting rid of the uh, Core of Exodus. And who shows up to stop us but... Who? The Arethian himself, who wants to play with the evil core. No, Arethian, I fought so long and hard in Exodus 3, you won't be reviving him anytime soon. I am sure that Lord British even now awaits news of Exodus exile. It is time to leave this barren island behind. Cool, you know, it's really cool that the game actually straight up tells you, look, you're done. Isle of Fire, finished. Alright guys, when next we meet, we'll be heading back to Lord British to let him know what we've accomplished here, and maybe, just maybe, he'll have a reward for us. Later guys.